Welcome everyone. In this video lecture, we will solve a GATE 2024 easy question in which we have to find out the small signal input impedance of a circuit shown below. So the question is in the circuit shown below, this one is the circuit, there is a long channel NMOS transistor burst in the saturation region. The small signal transconductance of the transistor is GM and we have to neglect the body effect. So no need to think about the R0 channel length modulation lambda and intrinsic capacitances, device capacitances like CGS, CDS. So we have to find the small signal input impedance Z is J omega. These are the four options. So we have to find the small signal input impedance. So this one is a simple question. So how to approach such type of question we will discuss in this video. So this one is our drain end of the NMOS and this one is a gate and source. So first of all, we have to draw the a small signal model for this N MOSFET. So I am just doing the small signal MOSFET. So this one is nothing but simply some current. It is our GM VGS and this side is our gate. This side is our drain and this one is our source. Okay. Now from source there will be a capacitor is there. So put the capacitor here. This capacitor that is our CL. And now from gate to source one cap one capacitor is there C1. So better to add this cap better capacitor here. So I am making this one as a C1 capacitance. Okay. Now drain is connected to ground. So simply we have to make it grounds and there is no need of R0 because we have to neglect the body effect channel so no need to add this one and then after we have to find the input impedance okay so for input impedance calculation what we are giving we are giving some V input okay say V in and some so there will be some current that is our I in will flow in the circuit okay so in this case this one is the circuit and we have to find this one Z in J omega which is basically our what V in by I in we have to find the value of V in by I in we have to find out so in such situation what we have to do we have to just apply Kirchhoff's voltage law in this loop say loop number one so by here I am writing by applying Kirchhoff's voltage law in loop one okay in this loop we have to find the Kirchhoff's voltage law so what we have to write the equation only so this one is your plus terminal minus so you have to write V in plus V in some current is flowing. So I in the impedance for this will be 1 by SC1. So I in divided by SC1. Okay. V equals to I but it should be impedance so 1 by SC1 that we have to and in addition to that this current the total current how much it is flowing it should be our I in plus GM VGS. This current is I in and this current is our GM VGS. Okay, so it is coming now. So now in this CL, what we have to write minus again. Okay, so the current will be I in plus GM VGS by whole SCL. Okay, SCM equals to 0. This one is the equation. This one is a very first equation we can say to find out the value of impedance. V in, we are just applying Kirchhoff's voltage law in this loop. V in minus I in 1 by SC1. You have to just apply your wheel in loop. Any formula or any assumption you can take or any means way how to write the KVL I am writing like this V in minus 1 by SCL 
minus this whole plate by SCL. We have to take this as a impedance one. So here one by SCL will be the one by SCL will be the okay one by SCL is the impedance. So now now what we have to do? This one is the equation. Okay. Now again we can write the equation as V in equals to I in SC1 plus I in plus GM PGS by SCL. This one is the common term. Same. Okay, minus. So we are just putting this term and this term in the right hand side. So we are writing this. So now V in I in is there, but there is a unknown that is our VGS. So, so we have to think about the VGS value. So now this voltage from here we can say this voltage across the capacitor C1 the voltage will be VGS. Okay, this value will be our VGS and the current is like I in. So the VGS value can be written as I in by SC1. This one is very simple thing. We have to find the current in this C1 when VGS is the voltage across get to source. Okay. So this should be our VGS equals to I in by SC1. So now we have to put here the value of VGS. Okay. So what we have to write? Then we have to write V in equals to I in by SC1. One can also write this as a I in SCL plus GM. And instead of VGS, one can write I in divided by SCL into SC. Okay. Simple. Instead of VGS, we are writing I in by SC1. Okay. From this. Now, what we have to take common from the right hand side I in. So, we have to make like this. Now, this one is nothing but simply our impedance Z in. We can say a Z omega S function. So, now it should be 1 by J omega instead of S. We are now writing J omega. So, J omega C1 plus 1 upon J omega CL plus here gm and s s square so this is the s square c1 cl okay one more line i will write so directly one can write z in j omega equals to 1 by j omega c1 plus 1 by j omega cl s square means s square means j square omega square j square is minus 1 so minus omega square so instead of s square one can write minus omega square so one can write minus gm omega square c1 cl so the final answer we can say the z in value is minus gm omega square c1 into cl c1 and this one is our cl plus 1 by j omega c1 plus 1 by j omega cl so this one is the this one is the correct answer we can say the input impedance okay the thing is that we have to write the kvl equation and then we have to write the find the vgs value so our final result for this one is minus gm omega star c1 cl okay plus 1 by j omega c1 so the correct answer for this question will be option number one okay for this one therefore option number one is the correct answer if you see so the final answer will be this okay so this one is a one mark question of gate 2024 you see so this is the way to approach the question so thank you for watching this video